Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This here's Forty's Garage. On today's episode, again, back on the Boxster project. As you can see here, we have taken the interior out. This carpet was completely drenched up here uh, underneath this foam here. I don't know if you can see this, pretty thick. It was completely drenched with water. Um, and that was leading to all the stank <laughs> that I was smelling in the car. So we took this all out off camera. I'll show you guys how to put it back in when we put it back in. Um, I've done some disinfecting inside the car as well as uh, on the rubber here for the, the carpets. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna actually uh, shampoo the, uh, the, the outside of the carpet here and then we'll let it dry out. Nice hot day in, uh, in Michigan here so it'll get nice and dry and then uh, we'll, we'll show putting it back in the car. So let's get to it. Let's get a suck. All right, before we get started, let's take a look at the interior here. So uh, previous owner does have uh, an act aftermarket uh, stereo Kenwood here. It looks pretty nice. Um, there's some missing trim here. It just looks kind of weird. I could not get it to work, and I think a big piece of that was there was a, a sub or an amp, something mounted back here that was gone. Uh, you can see some of the remaining wires here and uh, under here. Um, so what I'm in the process of doing, as you can see, is removing everything. There was a car alarm in here. Um, you can see all that stuff. Battery tender, may put that back on, I don't know. But uh, just a lot of wiring and stuff in here. Uh, still a little bit more to go. Um, so we'll, we'll keep working on that and try to get this somewhat back to stock and then figure out what we're gonna do with the radio. Uh, also, just wanted to say I did finally get the lock key for the lug nuts. So I did get the uh, bad rim off. Uh, looks like everything in here is salvageable. Um, I did get the new lower control arms. This is both of them put together and uh, got such a good deal. This pretty much I got um, for $20. Uh, with the price of these in here. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on that, not knowing yet if this one over here was uh, was good or not. It does look good, but hey, better be safe than sorry. So um, after we get done with uh, cleaning up the interior and getting rid of that all, all that stank, uh, we'll probably start working on this to get us mobile. All right, let's uh, let's go get with the fun. All right, got this all set up. Gonna use the, the drill here with the agitating brush, some cleaner, and then I've got the uh, old vacuum sucker here. I'm gonna put this on time lapse, and uh, we'll see you guys on the other side.
little sweaty, but looks a hell of a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out in the sun and let it dry the rest of the day. And then we'll come back and see what she looks like. All right, guys, now that we got it all cleaned up, I've sat it outside so it can dry in the warm Michigan sun. Now let's get it put back in. I told you guys I'd try to go over the process of how we put this back in. The way I took it out is I took out the passenger side, took out the, the gear shifter and the parking brake, then I pulled out the driver's side. So installation is reverse. So let's do it. So now what we need to do is just screw this back in, four 10 millimeter bolts or nuts, and then screw the parking brake back on. It does have two studs that kind of pop up here so that you can route these around. Need to look at a picture to see exactly how that goes, but we'll, uh, we'll get that pulled together and then we'll put the seats back in. All right guys, now that we got the carpet back in, I'm gonna go ahead and bolt down the gear shaft and the parking brake. So let me show you how to do that. So for the gear shift, there's four 10 millimeter nuts that hold this on. You gotta lift up this little plastic deal here. Get your nuts in there. Of course I dropped it wrong. Upside down. this stud up here and this stud goes here inside of these wires and two bolts over here two nuts sorry actually tighten those up first I have to get a smaller one for this that should get a set right there Okay, now that we got all this set up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the, this on so we can get the center console in, and I'll do these two pedals over here. 10 millimeter bolt uh, nuts on this. All right, got that. Now, let's get these two pedals in. So this one kind of slides in from the bottom, and then we screw the top. And then uh, this kind of slides in these holes here, it slides down. Let me try to get that in there. Oh, wow. That went in pretty easy. Just doesn't want to go in. Let me work on this off camera and I'll come back. Okay, the pedal there, the carpet was over top of the hole, so I had to push the carpet back a little bit. We got that on. Let's uh, go ahead and put this on. Just kind of slides right over the bracket. And two screws on either side. All right, next up, we'll try to get this in. I'll throw those two in off camera. Okay guys, I was just checking this out to make sure I had routed all the wires right and I was completely wrong. So one, this little black wire here goes underneath the carpet. I had to cut this here to get the carpet out. 
Uh, this gray one goes on the inside here and underneath this little tunnel. And then the black one is routed properly. I did take a picture of it before I took it apart so I would know. So always take a picture so you know how it goes back together. So let me fix this up and then we'll start working on the center console. Okay, here we go, routed properly. So got this gray one going underneath, the black one going on the outside inside there. And don't forget to pull your harnesses out. Had those jammed underneath there too. So made it all enjoyable to redo again, but we should be set now. All right, guys, we got the whole front here all set up. Um, did all of the gear shift knob, the handbrake, so we're ready to put center console back in. So let's do that. All right. I am shy a few screws, so we're going to be selective where we put these. find this right now I'll go find oh here it is got it I believe the white went to the inside ta-da okay guys we're back inside the car we're gonna get the seat uh, put back in I did have to hook up the battery first things first always make sure you label things keep it in your bag so this is all my parts for the driver's seat uh, so I won't lose any of it put these off to the side here's our bolts and our screws but before we do that we got to get the electrical connections done so let's do that first one up here is this white one that goes in here and then this blue and black one which goes here And then we have this bottom one, which was kind of a pain in the ass because they broke the connector. There we go, we got that. Okay, looks like we're all set. That should be out of the way. Set the seat down a little bit. Good, let's get the bolts in. All right, before we put the caps on, let's make sure it works. And it doesn't work. That's gonna be a problem. Might have blown a fuse. Or something's not connected right. All right, I guess we'll come back to this one when we can find out what's wrong with the motor. Okay, apparently you gotta have the key in for the seats to work. Didn't know that. Now they're working. Okay, let's get these back ones in. Hey gang, that's a wrap for today's video. Look, you can see we got all the interior back in, saved the passenger seat. We'll get that one here shortly. Uh, we'll do that off camera. You guys don't need to see two seats put in, right? So hey, like, subscribe, hit those post notifications, and we'll see you guys on the next Project Boxster update.